Shalom, shalom, mishpokah. Welcome to another edition of Ray Bash's Ramblings. Um, I have decided to uh, take down my uh, rant on anti-Semitism and uh, antinomianism. Um, I don't want to uh, basically uh, pour fuel on the fire, so I decided I would uh, deal with this in, in a Ray Bash's Ramblings in more of a calm uh, type of setting. Um, where there's nothing that gets my Maccabean spirit uh, flaming more than uh, you know the the ignorant, fearful, hateful, barb-filled words of an anti-Semite or antinomian. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I have to exhibit or attempt to exhibit the uh, spirit of uh, self-control, which is one of the fruits of the spirits. Uh, fruit of the spirit, excuse me, not plural. Um, Anyway, uh, you know, I, sometimes I just get so tired of, you know, going online, and uh, even though I have all the protection and guards up on my YouTube and stuff, um, you know, somebody sends a comment, nonetheless I have to read it anyway, whether to approve it or reject it. So a lot of times you get these uh, anti-Semites uh, and antinomians sending um, very hateful uh, message like F you Israel or um, you know you Jews are gonna die or you know God bless Hitler or you know I wish Hitler was still alive or you know God's gonna punish the Jews uh, you know s stupid stupid stuff like this and then you also get people on there who are misinformed and miseducated by uh, jaded and bias um, historical documents, you know, as they say that, that history is written by the victors, right? Well, of course it's going to be jaded and biased. So, you know, from the Constantinian and Marconian uh, Christian history that, that has even bled over into Protestant Christianity, um, it's been filled with bias uh, and jaded and false statements such as, you know, the apostles abandoned Judaism, uh, which is one of the, which is one that I've heard recently. Uh, and then they misinterpret Rav Shul's words, where even Peter himself talks about how other people misinterpret uh, Rav Shul, Paul's words. Um, and, and they come up with these antinomian, anti-Torah, anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish um, interpretations to books such as Romans, Galatians, and Hebrews uh, are the biggest ones. Um, you know, and then they backtrack to the Tanakh and try to say things uh, such as, oh, well, this scripture proves, you know, see, to obey is better than sacrifice. See, you know, uh, Isaiah says that, you know, I hate your feast. See, and, and use these, pulling them straight out of context, misconstruing, misinterpreting them, and twisting them to fit their antinomian, anti-Semitic, uh, and anti-Torah, anti-Jewish uh, uh, feelings, sentiments, and doctrines, which is nothing more at times than the doctrines of men and of demons. We need to get back to what the the original uh, Hebrew and Aramaic and Greek says and interpret that through the lens of Torah, through a Hebraic mindset, because God is, a, is not a liar. God cannot change. God is the same yesterday, day, and forever. He's not going to nullify uh, or, or go, go against his own word. Um, you know, and... Uh, so those are the things that kind of rattle my cage sometimes and get on my nerves. But, you know, the, the thing is, is not to react. And I've made the mistake many, many times before to react uh, in kind. But the proverb says, don't answer a fool according to his folly. Um, and then it goes on to say, but if you do answer a fool according to his folly, basically it's kind of like the, excuse the expression, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, you got to be very careful because if you react the same way as a fool, you stoop to his level. But yet, if you rebuke him in a correct way, he's going to turn and rend you, as Yeshua talked about casting pearls before swine. So you got to be very careful how you handle certain stuff like that. But you know what? I don't go to Arab, uh, anti-Israel, Arab type, anti-Jewish, uh, anti-Nomian uh, type of profiles, websites, and, and YouTube profiles and uh, make ludicrous or hateful uh, statements or barbed statements such as they make to me. I'm not going to stoop to that level because the, the real enemy is not antinomianism. The real enemy is not anti-Semitism. The real enemy that's behind those things, those are just a front. Those are just a mask. The real thing that are behind it is the spirit of fear and ignorance. And the scriptures say that the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. 
and uh, you know he's not the author of confusion um, and ignorance um, you know not saying that somebody doesn't have the brain capacity but when I say ignorance I mean people just simply don't know better uh, they simply have not researched the truth out uh, thoroughly themselves uh, to come to to an informed and educated uh, and enlightened uh, decision and belief and so you know ignorance and fear uh, fuel not only religious wars and religious debates but also you know political wars and political debates and we, we would just see it all the time uh, you know fear and ignorance is behind the whole H1N1 scare and, and the whole economic downturn if you will um, you know fear and ignorance that's what drives uh, you know the populace and that's what gets the populace to bend to the will, will to the corrupt authorities that are higher up so that's kind of my um, toned down uh, Raybash rambling, if you will, not a rant, regarding antinomianism and anti-Semitism, um, and uh, you know, also when you are challenged uh, in in such ways as as I've mentioned, uh, pick your battles. Uh, be very wise in picking your battles. Uh, if you can, go and see my video. I'm with stupid, and that'll kind of explain what I mean by picking your battles. So uh, love you guys, shalom and shavuotov, and we'll see you next time. Bye.